Bonjour mes amis, c'est moi, Stephanie Y. Jolivet, your host here at Sayez with Stephanie, where movement and intuition collide to create a deeper understanding of and trust in all of our bodies. So it's been a minute, and in fact, it has been nearly eight months, uh, um, and I have a nearly eight-month-old. And in the beginning, in those first six weeks, when friends and clients and family are telling you, oh, it goes by so fast, you do not believe them. And then you arrive at almost eight months, and wow, does the time fly. And in those first moments, those first weeks, those first months uh, of having this new life and seeking advice and per perhaps pressing Google and uh, scrolling through some articles that come up, there are a lot of shoulds. Your baby should be this way at three weeks. Your, your breastfeeding should feel like this. Your uh, the development should be this way and you should be feeling these things. And I am here because that is not productive. So today we are going to find the intrinsic trust in our intuition, in our bodily sensations that tell us what we need rather than what we should. And it's taken me a moment. Uh, there are still times where uh, you compare or you just want some information. This is, this is my first and I, I don't have any experience with it. Uh, but the truth is that we all do. We all have experience knowing, deeply knowing pretty much everything because it is embedded in our cells. This, this knowledge, this connection to source. So really, instead of having these external, uh, cultural, potentially, parental, uh, grand parental, friends, uh, internet, <laughs> all of these external sources telling us perhaps maybe what you should, could, would feel, uh, instead let's go inside to intrinsically know what we need to know. And uh, specifically through self-love and grace, giving ourselves these things. So we're going to practice this in movement today in three ways. On the floor, seated, and standing. So go ahead and grab a seat. We're actually going to lay our legs over it in a moment. And we are going to physically, and so that we can see, create our heart, create our source. Mm -hmm. Our source of knowing. Love, grace, and our heart center. So this shape is not only warming to us, it's also for uh, new parents or anyone dealing with wrist and finger things, overuse, it's actually a helpful way of opening up the wrists and, and fingers too. So there you go. So let's begin on the mat. <laughs> Go ahead and again, make sure you have a nice, comfortable, open space for yourself. Lay down, just find your way down, drape your legs over. Get yourself situated nice and comfortably. Mm. And as with everything, <laughs> it begins with breath. So perhaps close your eyes, let your arms be nice and easy. Inhale deeply into your belly. And exhale deeply out of the belly. Inhale through the nose and inflate. Exhale out of the mouth. 
and deflate. Inhale and exhale. Once more here, inhale and exhale. And this simple breath, simple but perhaps not easy, is one of the is the best to begin to bring your womb back into you, to begin to bring sensation after l'accouchement, after uh, the delivery, yes? Um, and even if we've never experienced that breath and this inflating and deflating, this expansion and contraction of our seed center, of our center here, uh, really just helps bring focus to not only our body, but it's, its power. So, with that in mind, let's create our heart. Ah, let's create our heart, let's pull it out of our center, so it's floating above our beating heart. And let your legs again just be kind of floppy. And then from here, we're just gonna begin putting circles in our shoulders, in our elbows, in our arms. Perhaps making contact with other life like I am here with my little beloved plants. Inhale. Exhale. Maintain that heart and just let your hands shift as they need to, inhaling and exhaling. Let's exaggerate a bit of the arch in the spine, in the upper spine especially. And then a little bit of a curl in the spine as well. Inhale, almost like we're yawning. And then exhale, making our body a little bit more heavy. Inhale, and exhale. And inhale and exhale and now as we move maybe we pull a word into and out of this breath inhale love exhale doubt inhale grace Exhale, fear. Inhale, joy. Exhale, stagnation. Add your own words. Inhale them in. Exhale them out. Maybe you say them audibly. Maybe they exist in your mind's eye. Hold on to the inhale, the word, the sensation. Inhale a little bit deeper. Inhale a little bit deeper. Once more. And then exhale. This time we add a bodily movement. Lift the head, neck and shoulders. Curl, 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 curl. Squeeze out whatever we don't need. Pull in, exaggerate that arch. Exhale, exaggerate the curl. <sighs> Making our circle bigger and deeper and more encompassing. <sighs> Adding our pelvis this time as we inhale, lift, arch, expand. Exhale, curl, release, deepen. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, and inhale, and exhale. 
Once again, inhale, hold on to it. Inhale deeper. Ascend more. Inhale deeper. And exhale, release, 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 and relax. Ah, take a moment to notice any sensations. Feeling where your breath found its way. Maybe feeling a bit of a tingling and a bubbling sensation. And let's take that up to sitting. So come on up any way you would like. It's amazing how getting up off the ground has shifted. <laughs> now that baby is earth side. And find a, I'm gonna sit on this diagonal, but of course you don't need to. If you would like to, great. If you do have a chair that has a point, which it probably does, <laughs> sit on that point. It adds just a little more opening to the hips there. And just find a comfortably long spine, comfortably planted feet. We'll begin with that similar motion, pulling in and emptying. And then we'll take it, we'll add on, and we'll, again, find a bit more three dimension to this movement. So from here, find your heart, set it up again. And let's begin reaching forward. Arch, 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 see your heart, and then it's almost like we're putting it back into us, even larger, even deeper. Inhale, arch. Exhale, curl. Inhale, feel all of that beautiful energy. All the way around your body, in your cells, in your space, even in your thoughts. Inhale. So bringing your thoughts to your breath is always a helpful focus. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, and exhale, supported from the earth, now moving toward the heavens, feeling that lightness and also that grounding through the hips as we shift through them, through the feet, as they help push and pull us through this beautifully circular, heart-filled, love-filled movement. In. And X. Again, pulling in what we want to receive. Emptying what we don't need. Allowing ourselves to receive. And allowing ourselves to give. Feel your fingertips, those thumb tips, really press against each other. Feel the finger knuckles. Hold that space, physically holding our heart center and allowing it to move and expand, potentially transmute any energy we don't need into the energy of light and love. Letting go of any need to really know what we're quote unquote supposed to feel, should feel, and feeling what we do feel. Physically, energetically, emotionally. And let's take our hearts directly overhead, 
Take that inhale, grow a little taller. Inhale again, a little lighter. Once more. And just allow that external heart to meet our beating internal heart. I'm gonna turn and face you. From here, perhaps the legs open a little wider because it feels nice. Ah, and then from here, we allow ooh, ourselves to maybe open up our space a bit and see what's around us. Allow that elbow, that leading elbow, to really pull us around. So not only are we now creating this other dimension, this next dimension of our space, but also the space within our ribs, the space that the house of the heart is potentially opening, giving some movement to the ribs. I always think of them almost as fingers, yeah, hugging gently <laughs> the heart and lungs. Speaking of lungs, let's add a bit of a pump in breath to this. Keep that focus maybe a bit more open, seeing your space. Allowing, physically allowing your pelvis to shift. Our whole body is moving as a connected whole being, connecting to the space around us, connecting to those invisible bodies that exist around us. And again, the next time we find a side, pause there and just take a pulse. Deepening that heart opening, heart connecting. And switch. Pump and release, stretch and release. Do that again just four times. Switch. Two times. Switch. Back to singles. Come to center, breathe this external heart into our beating hearts, and then exhale, take a moment of release, stillness, recognizing however in stillness there is always the rhythm of our hearts, the inhalation, exhalation of our lungs, and any other tingling, bubbling we may be feeling. Let's find our way up to standing. Getting a little bit lighter, a little bit larger with every movement here. And find just an easy position of the feet. If they wanna be slightly turned out, great, parallel, whatever, again, feels really grounded. And just take a little bit of a shift there bending the knees and stretching a bit, feeling the, the curves of the arches of our feet, our pinky toe all the way to the big toe. Uh, 
And again, continuing to expand our, our self-love, this, this space of love that we are creating around us. So let's find our heart. And let's begin with those pulses. Pick a side and we pulse. Three, a little buoyancy in the knees and switch. And a four and three and two and now four. Pumping our breath like our pumping hearts. Switch. Two. Singles and just let it move. Again, keep those eyes open, including that third eye. And just notice within that third eye if a word passes through or an image as we take this shifting, flowing, almost like almost like we're a spring bird. We have so many of here, they are so happy. Just floating in the sky. Sailing on the wind. Sailing on the gentle warm breeze. The next time, in the next moment, let's say, find one side, flip our heart, let it face the heavens, arch, 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 take it overhead, and let it swing back from whence we came. Swing, swing, and opposite way, up and over, and over, be that bird floating among the clouds, and swing, and swing, and up and over, and over, and over, and swing, and swing, and swing, up, and over, and over, and over, and swing, and swing, and swing and over and up. We're going down, we're bending the knees down to go up, around, and swing, and swing, and swing, and over, and up, and up, and up, and over, around, 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 and over, and up, 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 and a swing, 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 over and up, inhale, around and and over and up, up, up and down, around, around, around and over and up, 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 around and swing and swing and swing. Bring that external heart, <laughs> excuse me, in front of your internal beating heart. Lengthen your legs and just feel the power of the connection through our feet down into the earth.
take whatever breath comes in and really feel the rhythm of that internal heart beat. Again, notice any words, any images, any sense, anything that passes your internal eye. Gently release your hands, release that heart, but still feel it, still see it outside of your body. If your eyes are closed, blink them open. Take a moment to feel and maybe even see your space. I feel quite large and light, and that's my hope for you as well. Take a moment to take your hands to your deep center. Feel that expansion and release. It's almost as if our heart can drop down into our pelvis. And know that you can always come back to this, to this movement, to this meditation, and also to these places, to our heart center, to our root center, to our pelvis to find all the answers and the steadiness that we might need. Thank you so much for joining and I will see you next time.